Virgo. Hi, Virgo. It's your girl from Amethyst Rose to Rose coming through to give you guys an energy check in. This will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. Virgo, when you see this, is when you're meant to see it, okay? You need to refer back to it later, please do. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. When you see it, it's when you're meant to see it, Virgo. You need to refer back to it, please do. But we're going to see what's going on. What's being most important for you to know at this time. Take it how it resonates. Every message will not be for you. Okay, it is collected. This is for Virgo. All right. Archangel Michael, please protect me as I channel the energy for Virgo. All right. There is music in the background that will serve as confirmation of messages. All right, on Chill by Wale just came on off the album. Wow, that's crazy. So you may be chilling, you know, and maybe even notice something, Virgo. And you're like, wow. <laughs> All right, or you could just be chilling. Let's see, what's the message for Virgo? The lovers. Okay, you could be booed up. I mean, who knows? Somebody could be dealing with a Gemini. But you got the Three of Swords here, so somebody could be missing a Gemini. Um, or a Gemini could be missing you, okay? Then you got the Empress, yeah. Mm -hmm. Something could have something to do with the Libra as well. And Two of Cups, wow. I'm getting duality here. With the Ace of Pentacles. So somebody could be getting gifted with this energy, a partner, a companion. Wow. So you're going to get some new company? What's this? The Virgo. The world. Okay, so there's a cycle here. Somebody somebody closed the cycle, walked away from something. Could have been a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Let's see. This is for Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, and the north node. Okay, then. Somebody just, somebody hot right on about or something. Queen of Pentacles. Okay, Virgo. So that's you. The Empress. So you're an, you're an Empress. Somebody could have Libra highly aspected as well, but yeah, somebody's an Empress. Stable, solid, secure, compassionate, loving, kind. Can, will say what's on their mind though at the same time. Somebody will give you tough love like a mother. Judgment, yeah. Yeah, so somebody made a final decision here. Somebody was just too much. Somebody was carrying all the somebody's baggage on their back. Somebody, all they wanted to do is fuss and book at you. Act foolish. Somebody could be dealing with an Aquarius. Or could have been what you call judgment on king of wands yeah somebody could have been promiscuous they find though somebody look good yeah you got the uh, ace of pentacles that could be who's coming in somebody look good so you look good they look good okay then Virgo what you got going on eight of pentacles that it was the seven of pentacles Listen, somebody could be a past life soulmate here. Somebody wants to work with you. Somebody wants to collaborate with you. They look at you as a good investment. This will be long term, whatever this is. Somebody could just be getting a business, a new business partner, though. This could be strictly like platonic. Yeah. Yeah, somebody, somebody is a go-getter and it's like you got an investor here and you got the person who takes action. Tell me more. Somebody is like a dynamic duo is what I'm hearing. Yeah, I'm getting duality here. Two people come together and it's just a force. You got the five of swords. People may not like it. They may hate it. I just heard five days. Queen of Wands. Okay, so listen, there could be an Aries, uh, Sagittarius, or a Leo feminine here that's trying to block something here maliciously. 
somebody is running your name, okay? Or they did. Tell me more. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Ryan's going to North Node. What's the message? Oh. Seven of Cups. Yeah, confusion. Somebody try to pull the wool over your eyes is what I'm hearing. All right. So you were in a connection with somebody, but all they did was try. They, they, they made you an option. Yeah, there was a connection here and somebody somebody wanted to be promiscuous or they it, it, it looks like to me somebody wanted to be the head in charge. Like it's getting it's giving me somebody who ju who just does things impulsively, and then somebody who actually sits. They're well invested, so they don't move so swift. They don't move so crazy. Yeah, you got the seven of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So seven, seven, seventy-seven could be significant here. Wild Side by Normandy is on. Eight of Swords. Now all somebody is doing is thinking about this connection. They're thinking about this ending. Yeah. They could be actually watching you. Somebody was childish. Here, let's see. Virgo. The moon. Yeah, some things could have been hidden here. Somebody could have actually hid what somebody said about you. And and then the, the cycle just closed. It's something that you don't know, but the cycle is still over. Or you found out about something, something came out, and you closed the cycle. Yeah. Something could have been dealing with the cancer. Somebody could have had you in a third-party situation with the cancer. Yeah. But it looks like for some people, some people may actually be starting a cycle with a cancer. You'll be collaborating with this person. This is wish fulfillment. It may end in marriage because they balance some. It's like some energies balance each other out. You got two opposites here and they balance each other out. Somebody has earth heavy in their chart and somebody else has fire heavy in their chart. All right, let's get some more messages for you, Virgo. But yeah, there could have been a there could have been a cancer here for some people that slandered your name. Yeah, but it's looking like whatever that cycle was, whatever that whatever went on, that's done. Some of you could have been seeing the number eight eighteen here lately. Okay. There's a, spe a special message in here for you. Okay. Clarify the lovers, please. This is for Virgo. Wall of Fortune. Hmm. So whatever this is, it could be a Sagittarius. They they were at a crossroads. They couldn't make their mind up about you. Or somebody was just confused. They were just confused. Yeah, they, they were all like came at you where you had to defend yourself all the time against whatever this confusion was. Somebody could have somebody could have slandered you, this cancer. Yeah. But somebody's getting some karma here. Could be a Gemini. Could be a Sagittarius. The lovers. Why is the Wheel of Fortune clarifying the lovers? Why is the Wheel of Fortune clarifying the lovers, please? This is for Virgo. Strength. Yeah, somebody resisted you. Yeah, they resisted you. They resisted this connection. They resisted destiny. Somebody was destined to be with somebody. Somebody was a past life soulmate. 
the sign hopped and leaped in a different direction. Look at that. Yeah. Somebody could have took a leap towards somebody in their past. Yeah, this queen, the uh, queen of wands. We did see the queen of wands. I thought we did, but yeah, with the five of swords. It came out with the five of swords at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, somebody could have Aquarius, highly aspected, or Leo. Tell me about the world. Now, this Sagittarius could be left out in the cold. Yeah, this is somebody who breadcrumbed you in the past, but now they may, they may not even be having housing. Somebody may be poverty, poverty stricken. Yeah, this person who held back from you. I'm getting that um, somebody has Gemini highly aspected. All right, what's judgment? Yeah, somebody's under judgment. This cancer, you got the charity here. Yeah, somebody's moving on quickly. And they're going right into a collaboration. Somebody moved too fast too and put you in a third party situation and now they're burdened. Again, somebody can have Aquarius highly aspected. Why is chariot, the chariot clarifying judgment, please? Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Karma. This is somebody's karma. Somebody could have actually altered somebody's destiny here. Somebody could have put it like a, a spell on somebody or a love spell or something like that. A binding spell, something like that. Yeah, to confuse this person from this connection. Yeah. But like I say, the best way to combat, combat spell work is to stay loyal. I'm telling you, if it's embedded in you, it just is. Mm -mm. Go with what you know. But you know, it's easy for past people to creep back in because you know, you know them. Oh, they're familiar, you know, versus a new person. So, you know, people tend to go back into this person's energy and then they get hemmed up. It doesn't have to actually be spell work, it could just be somebody just falling into somebody's trap, falling for the hype and actually going with it. But yeah, they're pulling on somebody's, uh, you know, heartstrings and manipulating the situation, lying. Oh, I missed you. We're, meant, we're destined to be together. I know we have a, somebody could have had some money here. I know, you know, we, we're destined to be together. You're my soulmate. Remember when, what we did when we were in eighth grade? See, you ain't gonna share them kind of memories with that new person. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it went. The moon was hidden. Why is the moon here? Eight. <laughs> the eight of swords. Yes. Somebody could have did a binding spell on somebody to make them choose them. Somebody is a high priestess in reverse or whatever you would call it. The moon. Why is the eight? Okay. Yeah. They're like, we already know what you're going to ask. Conflict magic. Something to make this connection end. Like, it's done. Yeah. Yeah. That's what this is. Somebody was in an illusion. Somebody ran off on the plug. Big time. But now they're under judgment. They're under judgment at this time. Somebody is being judged for doing whatever this is. This confusion, conflict, chaos, magic, confusion, you know, pick me, uh, you know, binding this person to them. Somebody literally trapped somebody into a relationship with them, into a cycle with them. Wow. Okay. Was it this reading when Wale was on? Was it, wow, that's crazy? Yep. <laughs> The title of that album was Wow, That's Crazy. Yes, that is crazy. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles here, though. But you will be rewarded. You're getting a gift here. You get. You will get your justice. Something happens when you make a choice. Or somebody is making a choice to come towards you. Tell me more. What's the, what's the um, Ace of Pentacles? Somebody's going
Okay, the four of wands with the moon. Fair Trade by Drake off the album Certified Lover Boy. So somebody paid for this relationship? Or somebody stayed for pay? There was money involved here. A lot of money. Somebody paid a lot of money for whatever this is, too. Whatever this diamond is, whatever this entrapment is. But somebody was the king of wands. Somebody was in the king of wands energy. Like they were good looking, that's what I mean. You know, king of wands isn't a bad card, but somebody was... They were good looking, you know, they felt like they were hot stuff, you know, because, you know, whoever you are, you, you were an empress or an emperor and this person, or at the time you matched their energy. At the time. But somebody was under the illusion that they were the star. So somebody looked down on you and that's how they got caught up in whatever this is. So I'm getting that you could have protected this person in some way. Somebody sold out for money. Yeah, but whoever this person is, if there was spill work involved, um, they are under judgment at this time. Um, there is a shift occurring, okay? The tables are turning now, and now somebody's under judgment for trying to lie and cheat and stealing, altering somebody's destiny, multiple people's destiny. Yeah. I like by Tink. All right. But you do have a gift coming. Some of you may be getting a new house. Okay. You're getting a new connection here. If you want, you're getting a new connection. Somebody's going to match your good looking self. Okay. is destined to occur. All right. Can we get a divine abundance oracle, please, for Virgo? Thank you. Sacrifice. Sometimes surrender is painful. God's cutting away all that needs to go. Illusions, obsessions, addictions. It's a sacrifice to love. Yeah. Somebody actually tried to sacrifice you or they sacrificed you for money. Somebody sold out here. Yeah. Guidance. When you make divine intelligence your foundation, you finally have a fixed star to follow. Yep. All right. So that is your reading, Virgo. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye.